The Scripps Howard Foundation honors excellence in human interest storytelling. The Ernie Pyle Award. The winner, John Woodrow Cox of The Washington Post. The Washington Post John Woodrow Cox series explored how children are traumatized by gun violence. Primarily from the perspective of the children themselves, Woodrow Cox writes haunting stories of first graders in Townville, South Carolina, a second grader in Washington, D.C., and a four-year-old in Ohio, young people in Virginia, and teenagers at the Las Vegas Country Music Concert, each child forever changed by some form of gun violence. It was not only a very difficult read, but a very necessary read. This was a look at the effects that linger well after most of the news crews are gone, and it was really eye-opening. He was able to, to, to get it through the eyes of a child. What really brought this one home is those little details. There was a detail about a, a young girl who dropped her cupcake after a shooting occurred at her at an elementary school and remembered her mother told her to run as fast as you can, as far as way as you can. He sat next to um, a seven-year-old who was grieving for his father. He was in the schools where a child witnessed murder. There were amazing statistics in that story that will force people to uh, think about the ramifications of gun violence in a slightly different way. We don't often think about the long-term psychological impacts on children who witness it. The reporter was able to understand and to have access to children in a way that I've never seen. This one just emerged from the pile. And sometimes you just see something that speaks to you and that speaks to other people and that has such an impact.